Sunshine all day in Syracuse, in Cooperstown, all over upstate New York. That's what I noticed most when I when I looked at Tommy and then behind him, just blue sky. You weren't paying attention to the actual I news? Was, I was definitely listening <laughs> no, to that. The but sunshine I didn't was a it. nice added benefit, that's for <laughs> yes. sure. No, it really was. And unfortunately, that's going to change tomorrow, but this weekend, both days are looking pretty much fantastic. So some good news for those that like to be outdoors, especially in March. I know it can be tricky. Sometimes they're still dealing with some snow and rain, and that's going to be a bit of the case tomorrow, but not for Saturday and Sunday. Here's satellite and radar across the northeast showing how we're not dealing with too much cloud cover, but it is beginning to thicken up and increase from the west all ahead of this next system that is bringing some rain currently to parts of Michigan and it looks like even a little bit of snow. So our timeline shows how we go on into Friday and Friday night. We're keeping an eye on two systems. One's a clipper system moving in from the Great Lakes and then another coastal low that we will be sliding up the east coast. It's going to bring us some light snow tomorrow about one to four inches at most accumulation is really going to vary all because of elevation and also because of the surface that the snow falls on depending whether it's grassy or those uh, black tops. So Saturday once we get on into the weekend some early clouds and flurries to deal with then the sunshine takes over. It still will be a bit brisk and chilly though Sunday that's going to be the warmer day of the two and when we're also going to see some sunshine. So here's our future cast for tonight showing those two areas of low pressure one way down into the southeast and that other low tracking in from the Great Lakes. As we put Futurecast into motion and go on into tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., you can see how that cloud cover is increasing really ahead of both systems, bringing us some snow to start off. So keep in mind when you're heading out tomorrow morning to work and putting those kids on the bus, there could be some light snow around. And as we head on into the afternoon and that system slowly drops a little bit to the southeast, that is when we could see some rain mix in all because of the temperatures rising a little bit above freezing, especially at those lower elevations. Once we get on into Friday night and that system starts to pull away from the area, we're going to get a little bit of wraparound moisture and some lake effect snow showers setting up Friday night going into Saturday morning. But I think early Early on Saturday, most of the snow will start to push out of the area and more sunshine will begin to push in. So this is our snowfall forecast from tomorrow through Saturday, showing not much at all for Jefferson and Lewis County. A half to one to two inches for this lighter shade of blue. The Tug Hill could see two to four inches and also those hill towns to the south of Onondaga County. Again, really going to be elevation dependent and also dependent upon what surface the snow is falling on. 11 a.m. Shamrock Run Saturday, a few flurries early on in the the 20s, then we rise into the low 30s in the afternoon. Should be a very nice Saturday to go out and run. On Sunday, much warmer, 52. Make sure that you turn those clocks one hour ahead. And then next week, starting off very mild, just three degrees shy of 60. Michael? Thanks, Lydia. It's now a two-man race.